to have thought didn't match up with tonight? Uh, well, the, the, the only positive we got from the game was the first 20 minutes where we tried to play with a bit of pace. We tried to shift turnover ball particularly um, and we looked dangerous. Um, but we weren't, just, we weren't able to sustain that effort. What was the crux of what you said to the guys in there afterwards? Were they hurting? Did you...? Um... Uh, well, similar to what I said to you, mate. Thanks, mate. Um, during the week, I asked you about the uh, memories in Pretoria. Um, 6-2 tries today. I mean, where does this game rank in your time in Pretoria? Uh, worst one, mate. Um, let's talk about discipline. Um, discipline, obviously, two penalty tries and yellow card and just infringement of back as well. Um, obviously, we'll be impressed with the back and the discipline today. Well, I think the discipline breakdown comes from pressure. The, the box were able to put on us. Yeah, I think if you look at the stats, they had 66% uh, territory, 66% possession. So when you're under that sort of pressure, players uh, make mistakes. Um, so I don't know, I wouldn't actually call it discipline. I'd say we were forced into error uh, by the pressure of the, the spring box. And wh where does that start? Well, in rugby, it norm normally starts at the set piece. You know, we potentially could have had an advantage at the line-out, but we weren't able to take that advantage. And the scrum, particularly the second half, we were, we were beaten badly. Thanks, Mark. Just in terms of James, just in terms of your performance as captain, um, where do you feel you guys lost the game today? Um, yeah, it's a good question because, you know, most of the areas in the game we lost. Um, to, to pick one out of that, I think it's going to be pretty hard to do, but... It, you know, in the same breath, we just weren't good enough. Um, yeah, we started well, but uh, when we lost momentum, the pressure came on. We didn't deal with it well enough. Um, Slips. So, sorry, sorry, mate. This goal was nice. Coach, Eddie, um, you mentioned the forced intensity from the start, especially playing at a place where there's a lot of the altitude is you know, well documented. Do you feel like that worked against you guys in the long run? Uh, you left a lot in that 20 minutes? No excuses, mate. Same for both teams, unless they were playing at a sub altitude. I don't know, did the altitude change where Springboks played and where we played? Same for both teams. We've both got to cope with it. Um, was that a factor? Well, it's not a factor for us. From a player's perspective, uh, Skipper, do you feel like you guys were in the country long enough to adapt to those conditions, or is for you no excuses as well? From oh, a perspective? <laughs> yeah, well, mate, at the end of the day, both teams are out there. So. We just had to deal with it. Uh, so, you guys um, picked quite a, quite a heavy pack, obviously, with Skulls Skull in, the, in the second row. Can you just talk about the, the, the set pieces and the line out and, and, and scrums? How do you guys, how do you think you guys feel today? Um, probably a tale of two halves. Um, for the first half, we did reasonably well. Um, yeah, we, we forced high tempo line out at times. Um, and that's, that, that was a plan. Um, I think in the second half, though, we really fell away. Um, and, and, yeah, and that's the disappointing thing because Test Match Rugby, you need a solid set piece. And we saw tonight what it does to you if you don't. Hey, uh, can we read too much out of this one performance, in your opinion? This is the, the start of a condensed rugby championship. Can we read too much out of this performance? Well, we can read a lot into it, mate. And it's not good reading. Um... But there's a game next week, um, and we'll be better next week. I can guarantee you that. Thanks, mate. Do you have one at the back? I was going to ask a similar question. So okay, sure. Just with that, um, with that being said, is this just a case of a bad day at the office? Uh, yeah, we, that, it is a bad day at the office. Um, and I, I'm not making, I don't want to make any excuse for my team. We're going to front up, we're going to play better than that, um, but we'll be better next week. Um, just any, um were you surprised by the way the Springboks played? Um, and do you think they, they're going to be coming better side going forward? Uh, well, yeah, they were good today, mate. Uh, they were they were good with their forwards, carry. You know, I thought uh, Laboc at 10, when they had opportunities to move the ball, moved the ball skillfully. Um, and they took their opportunities. They were, they were clinical in taking their opportunities. Um, so they were pretty impressive, mate. Thanks, mate.
Um, Hoops during the week spoke about <coughs> the debutants, the top of his debutants, um, spoke about the energy they bring would bring to the game. Um, how do you think they fared? And then obviously with that and with physicality as well. Yeah, well that's like, you know, in cricket parlance for a, a, a debutant batsman playing against the West Indies with four pacemen. The ball's zinging around your head the whole time. You're just ducking and weaving and trying to survive. So they survived today. They'll be better next game, mate. Other back, I'm the coach. <coughs> um, first, what did you make of of Curti Arons' hat trick, and just a short of his hmm? of, of his Kurt, of Curti Arons' hat trick, and also what 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 were the were there any differences that you noticed between the Springboks that you played at Twickenham that you coached England and the team that you played today? Ah, uh, well, yeah, the winger played very well, mate. He's a he's an exceptional player. Like he's a a real talent to come out of the South African system. Um, I think you know the. South Africa tend to play to their personnel, um, you know, and the one thing that doesn't change is a forward pack, but what does change is behind the forward pack, and, and when you've got Lebok at, at 10, then you play differently, you know, then maybe Pollard at 10, and that's a personnel change. Tom? Yeah. Can, I, can, I, can I ask you, obviously, a lot of talk about this, obviously, for obvious reasons, this big year that lies ahead, you obviously f trying to focus on the next assignment. Are you guys looking ahead of what's how this performance bodes for you guys going forward? To France yeah, well, yeah. Again, I'm not making excuses. We've just come together as a team. We're just starting, mate. Um, and the only thing we can concentrate on now is, is next week against Argentina. That's the only thing we can concentrate on. What is expected of you guys to, to, to deliver a much better performance against Argentina? Though? We'll win against Argentina. That's the only thing we're going to do, mate. Eddie, how do you think Sully fed tonight? Yeah, had some had some good parts again. You know, when you you're playing off s scarce possession, and you're playing against a team that's dominating in territory, as a, as a winger or anyone who's behind the pack, I'd never take too much into the consideration of their performance. Last couple, please. Uh, anything else? Tom Hooper, how's he? Um, is that a long? Uh, he's got a whack on his shoulder. We're not sure how bad it is. James, just from a player perspective, is that a bit of a reality check out the lads in there after that um, new group? Uh, disappointed. As I said, though, mate, there's no ex no excuses. Um, the lucky th the lucky thing for us is we've got to play next week. We've got a game, um, and we'll be better for it. Anything else? Yep. Eddie, you uh, expressed your disappointment during the week that you weren't playing the first choice Springbok side. Well, I, I Changed just, a bit of relief now? No, no. I'll tell you what, you are good at it, mate. South Africans are good at winning. Eddie, you took a team to... So Paris. you don't have to be a smart ass, mate. <laughs> Eddie, so you took a team to Carisbrook many years ago after yeah. defeated Loftus. Are you looking for a similar performance next time? Yeah, no, 100%. We'll bounce back. I've got no, I've got no doubt that we'll bounce back. Like, we were well and beat... Well and truly beaten today by a Springbok side. That old mate's calling the B team, right? So I never knew there was a Springbok side that was called the B team. But now we have a new term. So we weren't good enough. So we're going to front up next week. That's the only thing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. And you don't have to be a smart ass, mate. Yeah, I love you, Eddie, but you should give us... You should have more respect, mate. You should have more respect. Give us more respect. Well, I didn't... I, I never said that, mate. I said we always want to play the best. You don't have to be smart, mate. Say something. Kenny, what did you say? K